Hey gang, Bill Dragoo here for ADV Moto Magazine. We just completed day two of the test ride in Portugal on the new Triumph Tiger 1200. And I've got to tell you, this bike is a game changer. Yesterday we did the road and there were a lot of good, uh, good things to note about the motorcycle. It handled well on the road. It was fun to ride, had a lot of power. You know, it did all the right things that a motorcycle is supposed to do. But in this off-road environment, this is kind of where I live. Uh, you know, there's this competition between the BMW and all these other comers who are trying to knock it off of its, its uh, post high on the mountain. Well, has the Triumph done it? I'll tell you, today, uh, what I learned in the off-road portion of this ride is that they have done their homework. They've created an incredible motorcycle. Uh, its speed, which is where we spent most of our time today, out in these mountains that you see behind me, and we were following an enduro champion uh, off-road, and he set a pretty good clip. And we were able to really kind of shake these bikes out and see how they felt in some extreme environments. And without going into the details of the ride modes and all of this, I just have to tell you the bike was tractable, it was fast, it was like having your favorite uncle there to help you when you started wandering down a dark alley. And it just happened to be that your favorite uncle was a, an MMA fighter and uh, could handle himself in uh, the situations that you got yourself into as well. Uh, we slipped, we slid, we jumped, we bumped, we, we, did, we tested the suspensions, we tested the power, the traction control, the ABS brakes, and everything performed just, uh, just unbelievably well on the motorcycle. So what didn't it do well? At low speeds in technical terrain, it's not there yet. Uh, it's much better than the older triples were. It's, it's head and shoulders above the older triples, but it's still a triple and it has some of the stalling tendencies that a triple has. So if you're at very low speed, you tip in the throttle, then it might stall. And yes, you can keep the revs up. Yes, you can modulate the clutch. I get all that, but that's not the issue with it. It's just not quite there on the low speed mapping, the low speed control, and your ability to, to remain confident that the motorcycle is gonna keep running for you. So as far as a bike that's gonna help you at low speeds, it's not. A bike that's gonna help you at high speeds, it is. So what is your favorite riding style? How fast do you wanna go? Where are you gonna be riding? Who are you gonna be riding with? If you want a bike that's gonna give it to you um, at the low speeds for that technical work, the BMW still got this motorcycle over that. If you want something that's a great over the road machine, they're both great over the road machines. This is a 148 horsepower motorcycle, 220 millimeters of suspension travel on the Rally Pro, which is I rode what I rode today. Uh, the Explorer has the, the Rally Explorer also has 220 millimeters of suspension, which is a lot of suspension travel. The uh, ability to adjust that suspension in nine different settings uh, to adjust the damping on the fly is a, an incredibly a good feature for the motorcycle. You can, can touch a button and uh, firm it up or you can soften it up as you wish and it helps to, to mitigate the bottoming tendency that you might have if you're on too soft of a setting. You can also touch the uh, uh, mapping for your throttle and you can increase the throttle response from rain modes all the way through uh, road mode, sport mode, enduro up into a to a or off road that is up to an off road pro mode that gives you a pretty pretty quick response on the throttle. Interesting thing about the uh, mappings is that no matter what mapping mode you choose, it always gives you full power when you open the throttle up to the full throttle position. I like that. I like the ability to have all the power there without having to switch modes if I want it. It just slows down the rate that that power comes on as you turn the throttle. That's a, that's a good thing. The traction control and the ABS work. In the off-road pro mode, the traction control lets you step the rear wheel out as far as you want to, and it lets you skid the rear wheel if you want to by simply applying the rear brake, maybe a little bit more than you should. And again, the, the bike helps you if you begin to slip around. And the way that it helps in this case, for one, it's a long motorcycle. It's 61, 62 inches. It's roughly two inches longer than the BMW. So it's, it's kind of got that uh, semi-tractor trailer feeling that the tractor is tracking on the road and, and going where you want it to go, but maybe the trailer is slipping around a little bit. Well, let the trailer slip. It's not gonna bother you. It's not gonna hurt you if you, if you let that happen. It comes back again. The bike is very light and light feeling. Uh, it's amazing how much lighter this is than the old uh, Triumph Explorer. It's just a, a bike that is nimble. 
and it works well for you. You're not fighting it whenever you're out there on the bike. Um, did I ever bottom the suspension? Yeah, I did a few times, but it doesn't hurt when you do. Uh, it's You feel it stop uh, at the limit of its travel a couple of times, even on the highest, the number nine setting. But when that would happen, I didn't feel like it was it was hurting me. It was just warning me. It was giving me that, that indication. Maybe you need to slow down a little bit on this rough terrain. So, uh, you know, which one is gonna win? Which motorcycle is now the king of the mountain? You're not gonna like this, but I, I have to tell you, there are two pinnacles, there are two peaks on this mountain. And for the high-speed work, the Triumph stands on top. There's no question about it. For the low-speed work, BMW is still king of the mountain. Something in between, you just kinda have to pick your poison on that. They're both fantastic motorcycles, but uh, Triumph has done their, their homework well. They've created an amazing motorcycle. It looks great, it's robust, it's crash-worthy. Uh, it's not a motorcycle that you have to worry about. Um, it's going to fall apart on you because you treat it rough. It's going to stand up for you. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I do have some articles coming out on this motorcycle. So stay tuned for those. And uh, thanks for watching.